All right, YouTube, after years of fighting with my Canon Pro 100, finally, the perfect permanent solution. No, we're not gonna do that, but I've actually thought about it many, many times. Actually, this is coming because of a comment somebody left on one of my videos where they were at a convention and they talked to, I believe, a Canon rep about this and they said it was Adobe. That for some reason, all Adobe software just hiccups with this printer and causes the double profile. They can't fix it, Adobe can't fix it, whatever. So I've showed you some solutions in the past that have gotten me through, but Every time the computer gets updated, there just, there constantly needs to be fixes. The printer needs to be reinstalled. So I tried something earlier this week based on the idea that this is Adobe's fault. Um, I use a Mac. I just tried exporting my file from Photoshop when it's ready to print. And I use the Apple program preview to do my prints. And so far, the colors have been perfect. I can use profiles. Everything works great. All my paper sizes are pre-made um, that I set up in Photoshop. The print dialog doesn't give you quite as many options, but if you go into color matching in the print driver and select your profile, make sure your media is set to the proper thing. Um, it seems to work. So the problem really does seem to be when I'm using Adobe software. I hate Canon Print Studio Pro. It's absolutely awful. They have another new print program that's a standalone thing. You don't have to use it as a, as a plugin, but I cannot get that software to register the Pro 100, so I can't use that. So just prep your file in Photoshop or in Lightroom, export it as a TIFF, as a JPEG, whatever you wanna do, and run the print through preview or I'm sure Windows um, has its own similar just kind of stand, standard preview um, image viewing software that comes with it that would probably work just the same. We shouldn't have to do this extra step, but we do. Uh, I don't use this printer enough at this point to budget replacing it with a Pro 200 or a Pro 1000, but I do like to print greeting cards and stuff like that that aren't as easy to print on my large format roll printers, so that's kind of what I keep it around for. And the fact that my videos on this printer seem to be really helpful and I like giving that help. So that being said, hope this helps. If it does, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks and have a great day.